<clears throat> so let's get started with the topic measurements from the gate point of view the weightage of this topic is roughly going to be from 6 to 8 marks mainly for double e and i n guys and reference material well this is the standard book AK Shani is the standard book a course in electrical electronics measurements and instrumentation and instrumentation by AK Shani this is the standard book there is also one more good book but AK Shani pretty much covers what all you need there is also one more book called Golding and Widdis this is also good but the problem with Golding and Wood is he is not covering so much problems whereas A.K. Shani gives lot of problems so A.K. Shani is very good in terms of problems come theory what we need for gate needless to say to be very honest some problems have directly come from A.K. Shani for gate so that book is very good for our gate preparation for this topic measurements and also if your instrumentation guys A.K. Shani is very good is going to help you a lot for your transducers and uh, uh, transducers part as well. So let's get started. The first half an hour we will spend today on the basics. Then we will get started with problems. Today we will pretty much have the class. I uh, have some urgent uh, commitment, so we will close the class today by around. 7.20, 7.30 like that. Tomorrow we will start again by 11 o'clock and whatever extra, means whatever quickly we are covering, finishing the class today, tomorrow we will extend it by one more hour to complete the required portions. So, <clears throat> the first topic we are going to deal about basics. In basics first we are going to see about characteristics. So what are the characteristics? So we want to deal about measure. We are we are dealing about measurements. So for a measurement system, for a measurement system, what are the required characteristics and why we want that characteristics is what we are going to discuss broadly today. Then we will go with classification and then we will start topics per se. So the first characteristics we will expect will be linearity we want our measurement system to be having a linear relation or the system should be having the linearity property so why linearity is the question first question why we want linearity the answer lies in we want okay if you have linearity what does that mean that is if i have a system be it any system i'm going to give an input called x and I am going to get an output called y. I want a linearity behavior. What does that mean? That means that the output y is a transformation of x. I am not talking about z transform, Fourier transform. I am talking about signal x, which is the input, getting transformed to the output y. Say for example, you have a voltmeter. You are applying a voltage input. You get a indication of voltage. You get an indication of voltage in the scale. Correct. So that voltage indication is the output. So the input voltage signal created a displacement as an indication on the pointer. That is the transformation I am talking about. So whatever input you are applying to the system that gets transformed to the output that is what here we are calling as measurement. Now when you have linearity that means what if I have multiple inputs that is as good as individual inputs are considered and summed up this is what linearity is going to guarantee okay fine why we want this again the same question fine this relationship is there so what what is so great about it the reason being always remember whenever you are having a system this system exists in the real world the system is going to exist in the real world That means what? 
say for example i will take the volt meter itself you have a volt meter these are the leads you have a volt meter you are connecting it to measure some voltage you are connecting it to measure some voltage now this volt meter is not seeing the voltage alone as the input the volt meter also sees the ambient conditions as input that means it sees the ambient temperature light humidity all those things now that means the response whatever i am going to get we want it to be only because of the voltage but the response will also get affected because of temperature light humidity so on so forth so it is very easy to compensate for all these are sources of errors so it is easy to compensate all these errors when i have the system to be linear when i have this linearity property i can understand the system and analyze the system with respect to all these parameters individually and when all of them act together what is going to be the comp uh, representation or what is going to be the error due to temperature light humidity i can and analyze this independently and i can think of compensating and removing this errors so that is why we want linearity because now this is going to be my desired input all the other things are going to be my disturbance say x2 is going to be a disturbance x1 is going to be input response of input plus disturbance is nothing but response of input plus response of disturbance so i can analyze this separately i can analyze this separately and then think of how to tackle the disturbances this is why we want linearity property that is first and foremost thing then that means if you have linearity in short you can apply what is this property called as superposition if you have linearity i can analyze the system using superposition that is the greatest power we have with us or that is the boon linearity is giving us then second thing is called repeatability this repeatability we have already studied this in terms of signals and system this is nothing but time invariance that is why even in control systems and signal systems we are so much bother about linear time invariant system the reason being time invariance and repeatability are one and the same that is that response of the system does not vary with time what we are trying to say here is the response of the system the response will vary with respect to input only the response should vary according to the input it should not vary with respect to time see think about this you are having a volt meter you are measuring the same voltage for the same voltage it is showing today 200 volts tomorrow it is showing 205 volt that is bad right you want that if the input is changing if the input is changing from 200 to 205 volt it should follow the input but for the same input of 200 volt it should not vary its output today as 200 volts tomorrow as 205 volt day after tomorrow as 210 volts something like that correct so we want the response of the system to be dependent only on the input we don't want the response of the system to vary with respect to time that is why we want repeatability and repeatability is nothing but time invariance then next is very very interesting property called as sensitivity now <clears throat> it's a very interesting point now whether sensitivity should be high or low it should be high or low it's a very interesting question the answer is it should be both the, the system should be highly sensitive for input and system should have a low sensitivity for disturbances 